what's going on guys welcome back to another video welcome back to another vlog you guys so we just filmed uh, a juicy I'm question in the car and brenton decided to come upstairs to change because we're going out to eat and he can't be going out with his little wife beater i'm going out in the same outfit it's sunday where we're we gonna eat babe where we about to eat at i don't know man i want me a big piece of chicken leg <laughs> 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 Should we go to brunch? Y'all, no, quick story much, time. No, too much Quick work. story time. Over too here, much, much, much. if you want to go to brunch, you guys, you guys got to be prepared. You got to put your best outfit best on. Best outfit on. Like, <laughs> you, gotta, you, know, you know the outfit where if you wear it and the neighbor didn't see it, nobody saw it, you have to wear it again type of outfit? Like that. We went to brunch, y'all, and everybody had their best outfit mm -hmm. on, and we rolling up with our gym clothes. We're like, uh-uh, mm -hmm. hell no. We're not yeah. about to show up over there with our gym clothes. People take brunch serious here. Out here, yeah, it is. <laughs> this is the queso I was telling you about. You have to try it to tell me if it's as good as it looks. This is so freaking good. I was literally telling him about it last time I tried it. Well, Destiny made me try it, and I want you to try it. Is it really that good? It's so good. Oh my god. So good. You're gonna have a craving for this. <laughs> but you're not a foodie, so I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not like a chipping type of This is queso so type of thing. good. I can't believe you don't like it. It's not bad though. I just know it's not like gonna go crazy for it. Yeah. So Caribbean. <laughs> I love mango. <laughs> Who doesn't like mango? Let's get some toppings. I'm so tired of oh. hyping things up and then him trying it and he doesn't actually like it. This is good. Yeah. It's frozen The mango, I like that mango okay, taste. Okay, okay, good, because I'm getting so tired. Oh, this is good, this is good. So it's literally like two days later. Right now, it's six o'clock, it's Tuesday. I am having a little bit of a salad. And I actually got the salad from, I think, H-E-B. It's like the little packets. And then I pair it with chicken or I do tuna. Brenton told me not to eat tuna too much just because it's from the can and he doesn't know how healthy that is. So I started doing some chicken. So yeah, that's how I do it. Usually before when I was like really like trying to shed bad, I would literally just have the salad with no protein and it clearly didn't work. So I'm adding some protein and then I got my Quest chips, it's protein chips. This is fire. It actually makes the salad taste so much better. So yeah, that's what I've been eating earlier today for lunch. I had ground beef with rice and asparagus and then for dinner, I'm having a chicken salad. It's a chicken salad. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. But yeah, I've been literally lounging around all day today. I have not left the house. Usually I would go to the gym with Brenton and then cook breakfast and then drop him off and then have the car so I can, you know, run my little errands. But today I did not do that. I didn't do anything. And lately I've been having those days. Honestly, it's not a big deal because I really don't have anywhere to go. So staying in the house is where I feel safe anyway, so it is what it is, but this is how we looking. This is the salad. Mm -mm -mm. I'm really trying to romanticize eating healthy just because I'm used to just trying to eat whatever I want, but I know you guys heard me say this so many times in this channel. I'm really trying to lose some weight, man. I feel like I've been saying this for years, and I never really cared. Just a little background for my relationship with weight loss and stuff like that. If this is triggering for you guys, I'm so sorry. Because honestly, it used to be a trigger for me where I just, I didn't even want to talk about it. Like sometimes Brenton would ask me like, oh, what did you eat today? I'm trying to help you track your macros because he is really good with that. And I feel like I'm good with that because I'm the one cooking for him. And I would just not want to talk about it just because I feel like it's triggering. Because I'm like, I'm not seeing any result. I'm going to the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning, and you guys heard this rant. <sighs> Why are these chips so hard to open? They're not really that hard. Okay. Anyways, you guys heard this rant from me over and over, and it's been a while since I rant, so 
please let me just vent to you guys real quick but yeah i've been going to the gym with him five o'clock in the morning i'm cooking his macros for him so there were some times where i'm just like i don't want to hear what i'm doing right or wrong because clearly i know what i'm doing i'm cooking your meals i'm weighing your food so i know what i'm doing it's literally just my body not responding to what i'm doing so i don't know i don't know how healthy this is but it's a chicken salad with tortilla protein chips i'm just trying to romanticize it you know and i'm not trying to think about it too much i'm just trying to eat healthy and go to the gym and enjoy the process and not complain but i'm complaining to you guys because you guys we're sisters <laughs> But yeah, these chips, I tried them before and they're really not that good. But the spicy one, bless it. Mm, so good. I'm actually thinking of getting a lymphatic um, drainage massage. I heard that really helps with inflammation, getting rid of water weight. And the only reason I've been eating some salads is because it's less, you know, salt, which holds a lot of water weight. And... And, and, and I've been drinking a gallon of water a day to help me flush, flush. So I feel like I'm doing everything I need to do. I'm not eating terrible. I'll go out to eat with Brenton sometimes, you know, like on weekends. That's when he has time off and that's when we can go out together, of course. But, and I go to the gym. So I'm just like, that's why I complain a lot because... I feel like I'm doing everything. I'm buying supplements. I'm doing what I have to do. So it is what it is. I'm stop complaining. Eat my salad and call it a day. Now that Love Is Blind is done, I have not been watching any TV. So I've been really bored when I've been here. So let me know in the comments what show you guys are watching. What's tea? What can we kiki and chat about in the comments? Let me know. I would definitely watch it because. I love a good TV show, especially reality show. I was watching Selling Sunset, but I got really bored of it. I feel like they're just creating a lot of drama that is just not necessary. How was work? Work was working. <laughs> what you got there, buddy? Huh? Look at here. Not part of your diet plan, buddy. I have your meal prep ready for you. I was craving some orange soda. You clearly were craving a cheat meal. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What did you get? Yeah, cheese. Ew. I don't want the cheese. I don't think that's cheese. That part you're pulling out, that's not cheese. That's not cheese. That's no, cheese. That's like meat. <laughs> you can literally eat whatever you want. Not really. <laughs> In one and a half month, I'm going to have to shred again. Shred again, you know, be on a diet, strict diet. Mm -hmm. But for now, man, I'm just having fun, man. You enjoy, know what I mean? Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Live life. <laughs> it's hump day and i'm feeling so excited so much happier so much better i feel like i was just in a rut yesterday i just stayed inside all day didn't really do anything but i actually just got back from dropping off bread we went to the gym at five o'clock in the morning and then ate breakfast and then i dropped him off so that i can actually force myself to do something because i feel like if i have the car i can actually go out and do something but when i tell him to just take the car i am just planning on just doing absolutely nothing so right now we're gonna get ready we're gonna go to target we're gonna do some shopping without brand because you know he ruins the whole vibes but my lashes is really pissing me off right now because i keep noticing it they're a little messy right now i didn't get them done i actually ended up putting these lashes on that i was telling you guys about it didn't come with the kit so i use hair glue because i got a little desperate <laughs> But I need to order some Glamnetics because I saw a girl talking about it and it actually came in a complete kit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next because I feel like this was just practice for me, putting them on even though I struggled at first, but I get it. I, I went through the whole shabam, the whole struggle, and I know what I'm doing. I am obsessed with these little disposable towels that the Skin Club sent over to us. Brenton could care less. I'm using most of it. I haven't cleaned my ring in such a long time. Every single time Brenton looks at my ring, he's always like, damn, babe, the ring is dirty. It's because I do not clean it. But I'm using the jewelry cleaner. This is from Brilliant Earth. They gave it to Brenton. So you just have to put it on, leave it on for like a few seconds, and then you rinse it out, pat it dry, and then boom, we bling blinging again, bling blinging again. All right. I am stalling. I actually don't want to get ready. And I feel like I changed my mind after that first clip, after I showered. I feel like I just want to stay home and I don't want to go anywhere anymore. 
but no we're going somewhere i can't stay in the house for days upon days upon days okay so i'm gonna slap some stuff on my face and we should be good to go so we made it to target and i'm here in the home area right now you guys know i literally just came here just for fun so i'm not really looking for something specific i feel like if something catch my eyes i will definitely get it but i do have a gift card which makes it even more excited thanks to destiny and brendan we really 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 appreciate it this was a housewarming gift from them and we truly truly appreciate it brenton is not here just because he's at work and one he will definitely ruin the vibes because like i said i'm here just for fun for retail therapy so if i find something that i need or that i want i'm gonna get and I really really appreciate it again once again Destiny and Brennan you guys are literally the best and they're literally our only friend here okay so since this is my first time having like one of these thin alone tubs this is have them they don't have them in Boston I'm thinking about getting this um, bathtub thing where you can like put it on the bathtub and then I could have my wine candles maybe and then my laptops or um, iPad so that I can watch a movie but I feel like there's better ones that I can find. This is like a bathtub tray where it would have like the cup holders. But I'm looking for something like this for the tub. Just because it just looks so bland, the tub. I've never had like a standalone tub before. So I'm looking for something. Oh, maybe this one. No, this one doesn't have like holders. I'm starting to think like Amazon has everything. I'm thinking about getting these faux plants so that they can go on the tub so that it doesn't look so bland as well. I'm thinking about maybe getting this, maybe these two right here, little faux plants, you know, I don't know, or maybe this one, I think something smaller would be better because it's not too much space, I think we're going to get two. Let me smell this. Rose Glow. Girlies, are we getting our candles from Target? Or are we coming with me? Definitely coming with me for my little bath time. I just find it so sad that every single time I come to Target, Britain is always, you know, trying to stray me away from this aisle because I always see something that I want, I want to take a look at, I want to buy, and he's always, you know, swaying me away. And the fact that I came here alone and he's not here and I'm kind of like lost not knowing what I want is kind of sad to say the least shake my head shake my damn head okay guys so this is what I was talking about so something like this but for some reason this says food safe so I have a feeling this is not for the tub so I'm not gonna get this but and plus it won't fit my laptop this won't work but this is what I'm talking about so imagine the tub right the big tub so this is the tub right this will be there in the middle and then you got the flower right over here in that corner and then you got the other one in the back okay you see the vibes see what i'm saying but this is not coming to me just because it says food and it's not large enough to fit my laptop so i can have my little movie night in my tub oh this is so cute oh, but i already have an oil one it's so cute this little oil and vinegar thing but this doesn't match <gasps> oh they have these oh my god this is so cute the little timer so when you're cooking but then again i have my phone for that oh, this is so cute gives you the date and the time oh my god i feel like people who lived using these were very happy so we just made it to Trader Joe's and I'm just grabbing my flowers. Like I told you guys before, but since I'm here, I do need some things. I think I'm just gonna grab it while I'm here, but I have a conspiracy theory when it comes to Joe's because I used to shop here when I was in Boston, but I stopped just because I feel like the person that Trader Joe's, whoever invented Trader Joe's, the person they were thinking of when they created Trader Joe's is the person that just moved out of their parents' house. They don't know how to cook yet. And this is literally the perfect spot for them to come to get their little frozen food 
food and just heat it up in the microwave or the stove sometimes I did used to get some of the things and I put it in the stove and then they're good to go I feel like that's who Trader Joe's was thinking about when they invented Trader Joe's because the food is good don't get me wrong I really did like the food but then Brenton and I we thought about it we're like we're literally just eating frozen food who knows how long it's been frozen for I mean I don't want to ruin it for anybody who loves Trader Joe's but yeah that's what we're thinking about and that's literally why we stopped shopping at Trader Joe's but the food is really good their little snacks is good yeah mainly snacks too their snacks are really good and some of the things they have you can't find it anywhere else and I give it to them I give that to them but that's what I'm thinking about that's my little conspiracy theory when it comes to Joe's I don't know let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way again I don't want to ruin it for anyone who loves Trader Joe's we love it too we just feel a little weird about eating frozen foods that often this would be so cute okay i do have to say one thing i do miss about trader joe's is their chicken tikka masala love this it's an indian dish i think i'm gonna take this for dinner tonight yeah i miss that i think i'm just gonna get two and their chicken fried rice but i started making this by myself so i don't need it but yeah garlic naan this is literally my favorite when i get um indian food so i think i might get this nah there's more carbs this one's actually uh, like a bit spicy it has like a bit it's a spicy yeah like, I actually made my nose cry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> usually, I can handle this, like, pretty well. I'm surprised about it. Mmm, this one's good. And what is this? Like, oh, this is our mango necker. Mango necker? Yeah. Do you have our bottle right here? Mm -hmm. That one actually tastes like mango. This literally tastes just like mango. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'll definitely have one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Feel free to take a bottle. Thank you. My husband yeah. loves mango. Alright you guys, so like I said, this is my first time having the standalone tub. In Boston, they don't usually have that. Maybe now they're trying to, you know, do something with this. But this is my first time and I've just been getting bothered every morning by how bland this looks. So I did end up getting the little faux plants from Target and this is what I was thinking. I got two. You see, this looks so much better. I knew it. I don't know if I should have got two though. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it here. Hmm. I don't know if I should have got two. <laughs> See my vision in my head? A lot better. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I should return one of them. And then I have the candle. So the candle wouldn't stay there. That candle smells so good, by the way. The rose glow is the perfect name for it. But anyways, so that would not be there. So what I was thinking about is getting the bathtub thing that I was telling you guys about and then the candle would be there and that's how it would be and i feel like it would look so much better than just being bland so i'm going to change these flowers right now look at this completely dead although i do really like dead roses i think they're actually really nice i feel like keeping this what do you guys think i actually like dead roses huh maybe just me i can buy myself flowers Buy my name in the sand. I said buy my name in the sand. Wow. Just I'm gonna do four and then one white. Then I'm gonna do two right over here and then one white. Oh, this is so cute. Maybe I should just do the white in the middle and then the roses can go around it. Look at that. That looks so cute. Okay, this looks so beautiful. Look at this, it's so cute. Okay, this is a vibe. And I actually really like the dead rose. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I really wanna keep it, I don't wanna throw it away. So I think I'm gonna keep it. 
and then i don't know if this is still trending this is what i'm having for lunch i saw this at trader joe's and i was like oh i saw this all over tiktok so these are the chicken soup dumplings i'm gonna have this really quick before i go get written but these were really popular at one point at tiktok everyone was eating these saying this is literally the best i haven't had a chance to try them yet because like i said I haven't been to trader joe's in such a long time but this is how they said you have to eat it let me put it down so you guys can see what i'm doing okay so they said you need your chicken dumpling you need soy sauce which is this and then they said rice vinegar and then they said this yuzi hot sauce thing and then this which is what the chili onion crunch thing that goes on top so we're gonna try it together let's see that's a little bit too much soy sauce sometimes i replace um soy sauce with amino acids same thing it's just a lot healthier but i ran out so and i'm gonna put this oh that's a lot and then the chili onion crunch they said this is a little spicy so don't put too much but i love me some spice i gotta see how this tastes this is exactly how i looked on tiktok and we're gonna try it together all right let's see let's get the first one supposed to be soupy that's what i saw in the reviews oh it's soupy all right i just don't want to burn my mouth okay oh the sauce tastes good okay this is actually really good oh my god oh my god so good see this is the thing about trader joe's i love it but i just feel like you know frozen food all the time you get pretty dangerous mm. Mm. okay it's a little hot and spicy at the same time but this tastes so good mm. i'm about to finish the rest of this and then go pick a brand and then i don't know what we're about to do for the rest of the day i think because it's nice out we might go out on a walk we haven't done that in a few days so we'll see we're going for a little afternoon walk with babe <laughs> but i wanted to go on a walk so bad after work don't you go on walks at work only 15 minutes. He you wanted to go. walk. Get your body moving, man. Sitting down all the time is not it. You go to work, you sit down in the car. That's you true. get to work, you sit down all day. Mm -hmm. I need to loosen up. That's true. And when I stay home, I mainly stay in the house all day. But the thing is, I figured since I go to the gym in the morning, you know, for an hour, an hour and a half, I'm good, but. You gotta move your body. Loosen up. I can't so believe when you this. You get old, you don't wanna have to cramp all over the place. You hear people that be getting up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just shocked that I'm out of breath when I go to the gym five days a week. I'm like, what is happening? Why am I out of breath? Welcome back to the messy closet. I finally got my hangers and I'm so excited to finally get this closet a little more organized as you guys can see. And I showed you guys this before. It's a mess over here. When we moved here, I literally just washed all of our clothes and I folded every single thing. Not color corded or anything. I just basically folded everything and I got this side, Brenton got that side, and that's what we're doing. I ordered these from Amazon and I'm finally getting to it. Let me not say I finally got it. I'm finally getting to it. So I ordered little baby hangers. Let me show you guys the size. I didn't even get to look at the size yet. They're so tiny. Hmm. I don't know if these are going to fit our clothes. So these are the hangers we got. I got black for both of us. It's supposed to basically not stick out, but it's basically the same thing. I'm trying to see what's the difference between these hangers and the big hangers. But anyways, I was getting closet advice from TikTok, of course. I literally love that app. But I was looking up closet advice and they were saying get baby hangers because of the fact that it takes less space. But I'm trying to see the difference. And I really don't see the difference. It's still sticking out. So what was the point? Hold on. Let me get a regular hanger just to compare. 
I hung up some of Babe's clothes, especially the ones that he wears to work. Let's see. Oh yeah, I see the difference. Okay. Look at the difference, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely better because imagine the big hangers. It would be sticking out this much versus this. Okay, look at this. Definitely does help. Now, my next challenge is to see if our clothes is even going to fit. Everyone else's clothes fit on TikTok, so let's see. Ooh, <laughs> this is not it. This is way too small. Oh, my God. Wait, what was the point of this again? Now I gotta go back to the video to see why they suggest baby hangers versus regular hangers. I get the space thing because obviously we just compared, but... Okay, no, this is not bad. Okay, let's see. Okay, boom, okay, cool. It is small, but anyways, I also got the little hooks. These are for my jeans so that when I hang the clothes and then I can add these little hooks and then open one. Just to show you guys what I'm doing. I don't think I'm like your go-to for like all these things just because I'm also learning just like you guys. But if I find something useful, I will definitely share it with you guys. This is pretty useful because then you can put your jeans and then hook it up here. Look at that. All right, cool. Today's Friday, laundry day. I'm going to wash all of our clothes and then I'm going to use my little hangers because I'm finally getting to it. And then we should be good. This closet will be organized. I feel like when your space is organized, you feel a lot better because every single time I come here every morning, I'm just like, ugh, dreading it. But we can't really remove all the shelves because we won't get our security deposit back. So I'm just trying to make it work. So that's what we're gonna do. And then afterwards, since baby's working at home, I'm gonna have to cook some lunch. What time is it now? It's about 12 o'clock, literally just turned 12. I'm gonna cook some lunch and then I'm gonna cook myself some lunch. I'm gonna have a chicken salad again. And then we're gonna go for our walk. This time we're gonna go to the Katy Trail. I don't know if you guys heard about it. We are looking it up on TikTok. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with that app. Like why are they taking this app away? But anyways, we're looking up on TikTok where we can go like hiking or walks and stuff like that. And everyone keeps recommending this Katy Trail. So that's what we're gonna do this afternoon just to get active. I don't wanna keep talking about active on this channel or my weight loss journey just because I feel like I'm not a notable source to discuss these things with you guys clearly I'm still trying to figure things out I'm trying to lose weight it's not working as fast um, as these other youtubers or these other influencers who shares their experience so I feel like I'm not the person to be talking about this especially since I've been trying for such a long time and not really getting results although I'm learning a lot I don't think I'm the one to come to to ask for advice as far as weight loss. I did see some people message me on my personal Instagram asking, hey, how are you doing this? I think it's just because I have been sharing a little bit about, you know, my weight loss, especially on Snapchat. On Snapchat, I do, um, you know, morning routines where I'm going to the gym, I show my workouts, like my five o'clock morning routine. I do that a lot on Snapchat. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, feel free to do that. I'll still do that on Snapchat. But as far as, you know, me being the notable source or the go-to for weight loss, please don't come to me because if you want to be struggling just like me for years, <laughs> then go ahead and do that. But no, I'm not definitely not the source. But yes, I'm not going to discuss my weight loss as much on this channel or with you guys too much just because I don't want you guys to be as disappointed as me. I know this sounds so bad and so negative. It's not negative at all. <laughs> it's not negative at all. It's just the fact that I feel like I'm just not the person for that. I know you guys understand what I'm saying. Let me know down in the comments, but um, I'll put my Snapchat on the screen so you guys can, you know, see some of my routines. I post a lot there too. I'm always doing daily vlogs on um, Snapchat. It's kind of fun. It's a cool vibe over there. But yeah, I'm going to go do that. I guess this is the end of this video. I don't want this video to get too long and too drawn out. We are going to start another vlog maybe this weekend. But until then, we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notification so that you guys are notified every single time we post a brand new video. Bye, guys.